My thing is this. I tell everybody this, and I'm on the record saying this. I have no doubts that there's alien technology on this planet. You look at the advancements the last hundred years or so, and you have to acknowledge it. There's no question. There's no way we go from a telephone or tapping something and sending Morse code across the universe to where we are today in a hundred years, like that, after 5,000 years of dust. Yeah, no, I mean, I, th I, think, I think World War II did some, some serious advancements to it, but I also think that World War II did some serious discoveries in, in figuring out how, you know, either, either where aliens may have been or how to communicate with them or, you know, what technology was, was somehow left and figured out how to be utilized at this point. But, I mean, there is just a major, major shift in technology you know, that, that has happened in the last hundred years. I mean, too much of a shift, like way too much of a shift. That, that just, it's just like, it's, it's, it's going at, at such a, a rate that like, you know, I don't think that m any humans could uh, believe that this is happening. I mean, now when you tell people like, oh yeah, you know, I think in about a year, you know, realistically, you know, there'll probably be a couple flying cars here and there. Like y you can say that now and go, oh, oh, yeah, maybe there is, you know? And, and we know that the, the technology is there, but it's to say that these are the things that are going to happen is, is, is it. And then to see that there's still such a heavily guarded, you know, area that, that you know, the government still is being very nebulous about and won't, like, really just, you know, like, just come out and go, no, this is what it is. It's so highly secretive still, and there's still so many things that are, are locked up inside of there that nobody you know, is either allowed to talk about or just obviously won't talk about it. Do you think they walk amongst us? Oh, man. That's some rowdy, rowdy Piper shit right there, man. They live. You know, uh, there could be. There could be. There could have been some interbreeding uh, with some aliens at some point in time, and there could be definite alien uh, DNA that, that has, has, you know, become something that that is now part of you know a a new evolved human race but i mean look look at humans in general though humans have changed dramatically you know i mean obviously obviously with with uh not only technology but but the transportation and how how people have you know started to mix with other cultures and mix with different um i mean i'm a product of it myself you know i mean like it's it's who would have thought like i'm i'm you know European and Polynesian, like that's that's a mix that you wouldn't have heard of like 200 years ago, you know, not not as common as it is now. It's a Cali thing, you know. It's <laughs> 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 but but it's it's uh, it's it's just it's just there, man. I mean, it's crazy uh, when you get into this stuff because it causes such a, a reaction, even a visceral reaction from people. Because people are so passionate about it, and I know what, in a negative way or in a positive way. Like what? Because I, I, I don't know if, what you're seeing. I over think there. you get a little bit of both. Um, I think some people are passionate that there's no way, there's just no way they get fired up because they prescribe to the brick and mortar approach. You know, um, yeah, and social media doesn't exist either. And exactly. So I I'm a little bit of both. I don't think aliens walk amongst us, and I'll say why. Okay, I don't think that they do for the simple fact that if they did, I, I think they've landed here. I think technology has been brought here. I think we have access to technology, whether it's via a crash, whether it's via them visiting and communicating. But I believe that they either went back or they're kept underground. They don't necessarily walk amongst us and work amongst us. But I think so much has been downloaded, if you will, that we have used that to have not only technological advancements, but intellectual ones as well. And I think that there are certain people that just operate on a more uh, advanced plane mentally, and they're able to absorb that information and process it in a way that I never could. Uh, I, I just, that's how I feel. Uh, I don't know what they look like. I'm not sure. Um, where they're keeping them. I'm not sure if it's Area 51 or what's involved with that. But I do believe that there's definitely been alien technology on this planet. Now, how that plays into us politically, how that affects any systemic risk involved, everything else in between, I don't know. 
but it's an interesting topic and it goes in a hundred directions. Um, you know, as far as aliens being able to come here whenever they please, I don't know what type of defense capabilities have been brought on by our government, what's been done, how that, that, that intrigues me. Yeah, but do you think, why, I mean, why would we have to have defense capabilities unless we th saw them as a complete threat? I think there has to be some type of screening. I don't, I mean, I don't want to get all men in black, but there's going to be some type of screening involved with that. There has to be some type of uh, understanding, okay, if you come here, you, you can't go and get a sandwich at the local sub. I just don't think, I don't think, I think that, the, that there's a big mix, misconception on, on what they are and who they look, what they look like or how long. I mean, I really do believe that there could have been, they could have been here for all, like, a lot, 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 lot longer than most people think. And there could have been... Like I said, there's, there, I mean, there's so many different ways that people could evolve and things could happen. And, you know, again, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing there that they would need to guard it that hard. You know, I mean, as far as like, you know, I mean, you're, you're in the, you're in the business of building weapons. I mean, like, think about this for a second, you know, like what would be there that it has to be so secret that we, that there's all these other conspiracies around it, considering the fact that. It's just down the street. So we'll have to go to the raid. Q, put us down. We're going. Oh, I'm not going to the raid. <laughs> he said, I'm no. not going to no, the raid. No, I'm not going to the raid. No, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna, that's the thing is I'm going to watch it from my smartphone, and I'm going to watch everybody else get go there and then just. Get just shot to hell. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You think they'll yeah. shoot him, Q? Yes. Hell yeah. Yes. Yes. I do. They're going to kill him dead. <laughs> no, they'll shoot a couple of them, and then everybody else will be like, "Oh, fuck this!" Isn't I ain't going. Well, there. we'll have to. We'll, we'll get some Popeyes, and we'll watch.